Pear Mountaineer, Sunrise Side, the Glacial Lake. It's really pretty. been hiking for a little over an hour probably. Um, this place right here is called Hole in the Wall it's a little hole you can't really see. Um, we're going over that so there's some kind of trail around this rock and we're camping not too far from there tonight. I'll try to keep you updated. Oh hey! I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to put the camera down, there's an anemone. Where did the light? Oh yeah. So cool. Um, they have like, all of them have sand on top of them, so it looks like they're trying to disguise themselves with it. different anemones they're like blue with purple tips side of hole in the wall. Woo! Gonna climb up to the top of where that big tree is. Come back down. So the tide's too high. We're gonna continue on this way for our hike. Okay, I think it's close to four o'clock. Uh, apparently our campsite is kind of just around this corner. Just um I want to show you this log. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's just really cool. Today it's Tuesday, or, um, Saturday, September 28th. Um, it's a little before 8 in the morning. We're leaving our site campsite. The tide is really low, as you can see. 
Um, well, you may not be able to tell, but it is really low. Um, and we need to be low because that point right there, we can't cross if the tide is too high. So we had to leave. We had to time our, our like trip. So we would hit these low points at the right time. Um, yeah. the stars were really pretty last night. Really pretty. And we'll be back here tomorrow. So it's around noon on Saturday the 28th. Um, we've been hiking since around 8 a.m., 7.45. Um, I think our next campsite is just right around this, or not around, like right along this beach right here. Um, it's pretty cool. We, s we haven't seen many people, like, I don't even think we've seen any today, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, it's just really beautiful. Today is Sunday, September 29th. It's a little bit before seven. Um, we packed up early today. Uh, this is our campsite. We, we camped up there in the trees, you can't really see. Um, but we were on this beach. Um, so when we got here yesterday, the water was like, you can't really see, but it was way up here. And now it's like, I don't know, 50 yards that way. Um, low tide is right around now, a little bit, maybe like 7.30. Um, so we decided to leave early because um, that this far point over here, ooh, um, yesterday we crossed it at high tide, or pretty, really close to high tide, and there's this way to get over it, um, like going over the, that little, the land on that point this really sketchy set of like ropes that go down this really steep slope um, and so we decided to get up early to just walk on the beach because it's way nicer and the sand is super nice um, so it's our last full day we're going a little bit further than we're going a little bit past where we stayed the first night so we'll have an even shorter walk the last day um, but my battery is getting low. Hopefully I'll have enough to show you today and tomorrow. So today is still um, Sunday, October uh, 29th or 30th, I think 29th, I don't know. Um, we made it to Hole in the Wall, which is where we started, kind of, it's like a mile from the parking lot. Um, I didn't record any of today really, besides the first part, but we, um, we made it to... We walked from Cedar Creek, where we were staying last night, to Chile Memorial, where we had stayed the night before, um, in about two and a half hours, um, where before it took us about four hours. And that was because we caught low tide today and it made walking so much easier. It was like sand that's nice like this. Um, we hung out at, at Chile Memorial because um, we like got there right as high tide was coming in or as the tide was coming in, and then it, um, there's another point past that where we had to be at low tide or pretty low. Um, so we stayed at Chilean Memorial for like 
six hours or something. It was crazy and just hung out. Um, but then we made it here, like probably in less than an hour. And now it's sunset and you can't really see it well on the GoPro, but the sun just set and it's so pretty and it's really, um, like the sky's really orange on the horizon, which you can't really tell from here. Um, but yeah, it was a really good day. We saw some starfish, walked a lot, rested a lot, read a lot. Um, and now we're here at probably the most beautiful campsite we've been at. And we're about to cook dinner, we've got a fire, everything's good. Today is Monday, September 30th or October 1st, I don't know. Um, it's our last day, we're hiking out. Um, it's probably a little after eight. It's about low tide right now. And we just have less than a mile to go now. Kind of edge of this point. Um, it's really nice, so walking up here, um, it was a couple hours after hiking. So we were kind of stuck up on these logs, this log area, and we had to climb over a lot of things. Um, but now walking back, we have a ton of beach because it's low tide, so that's really cool. Um, it's been cool to walk back and see these places in a different perspective, different time of day, um, different tide. So, yeah, a lot of cool things this weekend. This might be my last video for this so we're gonna get back it takes about four hours to drive back to um pack forest and then i'll make a video for you really quick here's some tracks probably otter so cute okay i'll check in with you later bye